What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Pulte Guys, back again with another ghost video reaction. Today, we're going to be reacting to eight scary ghost videos that are absolutely bone chilling from Fearsome Top 5. So, let's get right into that right now. I'm excited. It's been almost a month since I've done a video, so hopefully, this is a good one. Today we'll be taking a look eight at eight videos. scary ghost videos that may just make you a believer. Number one. A woman named Tanya is just your average TikTok user who posts random moments from her everyday life. From videos up, Tanya? of food to having fun mm. with her kids, there's nothing out of the Yo, ordinary that waffle on her looked profile. Fired. Well, that was until her most recent post. According to Tanya, on an overcast day, her oh, husband dude, spotted dude. something strange above the clouds. Freaking McAfee. He immediately pulled out his phone and managed to catch this. This better be a ghost video. As the video begins, a dark object can be seen moving across the cloudy sky. This large unexplained object looks like it may just be a shadow. This large unexplained object isn't a ghost. It's a ghost video. There's supposed to be eight scary ghost videos. Where's the ghost? It's not a ghost, it's like an alien at best. Cast from something moving above the clouds. Neither Tanya, her husband, or I have any clue what this could be. But coincidentally, this object was spotted over New Mexico, which just so happens to be the location of the infamous Roswell incident in 1947. I'm gonna go ahead and say that this is a cloud on top of a cloud. Does that make sense? So if you have a layer of clouds, and you look up, most of those clouds are gonna be like, are gonna be monochromatic to some degree right other than the fact that there's going to be shadows and stuff but for the most part the clouds are going to be one tone so if you throw another cloud above that layer that's going a little bit faster right and the sun's coming down on that cloud casting a shadow into the other clouds clouds can move that fast easily so so was this a ufo no, it was clouds or something more easily explainable? not a ghost definitely not a ghost number two TikTok user tt 2 all 2 was always a little skeptical when it's really disappointed when the video says in the title ghost videos and you don't get any ghosts came to ghosts but his skepticism has since changed after seeing Ooh, what was called a ring camera. camera in the early hours of the morning his mom was preparing to leave for work she locked up the house and began walking to her car when something unnerving appeared Scrapped up. Dang. She's about to go to war. Ghost definitely chose the wrong one. What was that? Yo, yeah, I did see it. It was right over here. It looked like a person just walking down the street. As she walked off the porch, a ghostly transparent figure looked to walk directly towards her. Just barely <laughs> visible, this eerie figure appeared out of nowhere, then quickly approached the woman, but soon vanished just as fast as it appeared. I like this because, well, ring cameras, like I said in other videos, are changing the game, but this could still be staged, edited, whatever. But the credibility of ring videos, cameras, is great feel like surveillance cameras catch the most ghost activity and it is that type of ghost activity that you can usually count on above anything else but could this have simply been a trick of the light maybe a bug or was this an actual ghost it could be a trick of the light because it seems to be moving uh, about mirroring the uh, person's movements caught on camera you decide but it's a, a weird glitch number three 
When the moon is full and the night is quiet, eerie things tend to make an appearance. And with home security cameras being incredibly common nowadays, some of these eerie things are bound to be caught on video. Over the summer, TikTok user Lost Soul in a Bowl received a notification Lost from his ring bowl. camera that a person was detected outside. But what he saw on the footage was not exactly a person. All right, here we go. Man, did you see the trail that bug left across the screen? God dang. Left side, left side, left side. Coming in. Ooh. Just a blur of mist making its way across the screen. Getting thicker. I feel like I just saw something going to the car at the same time. Much right here. Okay, it's just a bug. Dude, McAfee. I don't want a weekly VPN report. Go away. Ruining the video. A misty figure appeared from the left side and slowly drifted across the yard. But just as it was about to go out of view of the camera, it looked to transform and take on a more human shape. Almost appearing to stand up right and walk away. Yeah, this is crazy. The man behind this I mean, account has no idea how to explain this. And just like 99% of the time, neither do I. That one's either unexplainable completely or it's just a edit. But it didn't look very edited. I kind of believe that because it's not a apparition. It's more of a dust ghost mist, if you will. So... Maybe not a ghost, but definitely paranormal. Or, in my last video, I mentioned how more and more reports of strange things in the sky are popping up lately. Well, it looks like we may just have another one to add to the list. Strange things in the sky aren't ghosts. A TikTok ghosts. user named Brian Rodriguez recently Bring had a bizarre there. encounter that he can't explain. In the middle of the night, something bright illuminated the sky, catching Ryan's attention. And this is what he saw. Look at this. Isaac! Isaac! Two lights floating through the sky. What the fuck is that? Bro! Isaac! Drones. He's gone? It's just drones with lights on them. Bro, what is that? Look at, look at, you can see right through it. It's not, not a drone. What do you mean you can yeah, see right through it? No, you can't. Not with your video camera, Two at least. strange glowing balls of light slowly flew across the night sky. These eerie, unidentified objects flew in complete unison. Alright, if it's not a drone, then it's too small to be aliens, right? If you can see clearly through it, then it's not aliens, it's just... strange light. Still not ghosts. And didn't produce any sound. These unusual objects do not appear to be planes or drones, so it looks like our boy E.T. may be coming back to visit. Number 5 Over on TikTok, a guy named Tom runs an account called Flat7Ghost, and alongside his girlfriend Carlene, they've been experiencing strange things for the last three months that can only be described as paranormal. From bangs and knocks to disembodied footsteps, this unnerving activity has only seemed to get worse as time goes on. Oddly enough, the apartment building they're in is a relatively new build at only four years old and clearly does not have a long history. Four years is long enough for people to die. But Especially since COVID. Presence is in their home is desperately trying to make itself known. Okay. What are the three lights on the ground though? My opinion about this video is not gonna be friendly. What the f Okay, there's a dog right there. What the f Oh cat, sorry. That's a big cat. Look at the size of that thing. Oh, 
The sound of someone aggressively rattling the door can- Okay, aggressively rattling the door is a stretch. Um, the door was definitely moving back and forth on its own. I'm gonna say that this is a engineering oversight and that the air flowing they, they've probably got like too much negative air or too much positive air and it's causing it's creating a vacuum and that vacuum is causing fluctuations in pressure that's causing that door to not be able to stay steady as it would in like a regular properly built unit can be heard but as tom opened it there was no one there then moments later the chairs at the table eerily got flung back as for that i don't know as time went on this paranormal we didn't see anything happen with the chairs we only heard it from home it's like still happening exactly it's still happening honestly this is all the time it's all the time it's all the time oh jesus Cat scared the shit out of me. Man, I think you checked the construction of the door. Rory, you were really scaring me. Brother, and you have a cat just running rampant, doing whatever, going through the little cat tunnel that makes, you know, <laughs> noises. Also, your cat is huge, mate. See, that's not, there's no way that's a ghost, dude. It's just your door. Your door sucks. Look, the handle's not moving. It's just the door. It's not properly flush. None of the other doors are doing that. It's just that door. Come on, bro. Okay, so now the cat tunnel is- well, yeah, this guy- uh, we were told that there is a girlfriend in the picture here too, right? I know Rory didn't do that. What the f*** is going on? What the f*** happened, Rory? Yeah, Rory, what the f***? Alright, I need this guy to get a Once ring again, camera, security camera. On its own and would completely stop as soon as Tom opened it. <laughs> How's the door gonna rattle if it's open, bro? Like, of... Sometimes I get so frustrated with these videos. Okay, anyway, so the door explainable. The cat tunnel thing in the chairs. Mm. And while his back- Once again, only when his back is turned does this stuff happen. Back was turned. The cat toy somehow ended up on the couch. When just moments earlier, it can clearly be seen on the floor. After many viewers suggested setting up a camera, Tom did exactly that. Fantastic. And it wasn't Let's see. Long until it caught something bizarre. Mm, I see Rory on the left. Okay, we've got a drawer opening. Is that it? While Tom and Carlene were on the couch, a drawer in the kitchen eerily opened on its own. With no one near this drawer, they're not exactly sure how this happened. And this is all they've managed to catch in their apartment so far. But I'll make sure to keep my eye out for any update. So these videos are on TikTok or whatever. I, I, mean, I don't know. I feel like these are just staged because, I mean, all right. So to catch in their apartment so far. Sure, how this happened. And this is all they've managed to catch in their apartment so far. Mm. But I'll make sure to keep my eye out for any updates. I just feel like... I need to know that there's nobody else in the room. And every time this person's camera is on, 
there are parts of the room that we cannot see whenever paranormal stuff happens. This time we can see the spot where the paranormal stuff happens, but we still can't see the entire room, right? So we know that to the right of where this camera is aiming, there's space for someone to be. And if they have a small like fishing line or something hooked up to the drawer, they could pull it. Mm. Ooh, an EMF reader. EMF readers don't do anything. Electromagnetic fields are everywhere. They fluctuate all the time. It's nothing. EMFs do not prove ghosts. So we've just got the K2 EMF meter. I've scanned the room so I know where all the spikes are and it seems like this is the best place to put it as it doesn't seem to get that many spikes. Um, we're just going to ask it some questions and see but if it we does get, get some spikes. Clear indications that, that something's here. So if there's anything in this room, um, ghosts, spirits, entities, touch that device on the table with a green light and it will light up and indicate that you're here. Why would it do this for you? Once again, you can't see the whole room. Can you touch it again, please? That's ridiculous. It's also the most reactive I've ever seen in EMF K2 uh, experiment. The off rip, just like that. No way, bro. Mm -mm. Right. If you if you hold the device for as long as you possibly can, it will give us a much better reading. reading of what what re like right. what reading that's ridiculous numbers that's ridiculous look at right here at this corner of the table whoa, whoa, whoa. Is that just the camera's reflection, like the a lens flare or something right there? Or could that be... Because this flash of light comes behind the K2 on that part of the table specifically. Unless it's reflecting from here all the way to back there or coming from over the top of the K2 and then behind, I just, I don't know. There's nothing, I don't think there's anything here. I think you have manipulated, I think the drawer is manipulated, I think the chairs are manipulated, the cat's tunnel ending up on the chair, on the couch. Again, so this happens and then you notice that the ceiling lamp is also moving. So if I wanted to fake that, I would run fishing lure or something thin and nearly invisible right through the lampshade on the ceiling as a pulley to get onto the cat thing and then when the camera is not turned i have my girlfriend who's conveniently not around or in any other shots right pull on it and wherever the cat tunnel goes the cat tunnel goes and it goes onto the couch but also if you notice the cat isn't like usually when weird stuff like that happens cats get skittish either the cat is not afraid of anything or the cat is very comfortable with what's going on which would make it i feel like is evidence towards there not being anything paranormal happening number six matt and andy from the finders beepers history seekers youtube channel are a couple of urban explorers who love history and old abandoned properties these two friends have never claimed to be paranormal investigators, and they're actually complete skeptics when it comes to the paranormal. This is what anybody who wants their paranormal evidence taken seriously needs to be. You're not a ghost hunter, you're a skeptic, and you're not trying to find ghosts. So that way whenever you find something weird, it's credible AF. Doesn't mean that they can't still stage things for drama or to boost views stuff like that but but every so often while exploring these creepy places they unintentionally capture something bone chilling on camera 
During one of their explorations, the guy set out to explore the abandoned Mosley Manor in Liverpool, England. If that place is abandoned. That house is abandoned? Bruv, how much does it cost? I'll move in today. Like, I, what? I'll renovate it. I don't care. I only need a couple rooms to be good for a while while I fix the rest of them. This home was built over 150 years ago, Amazing. with the owner eventually dying inside. Years okay. later, this property was transformed into a care home for the elderly and disabled. Ah, but unfortunately, so many reports deaths. of abuse within the manor began to surface, as well as the discovery of 10 unreported deaths that took place inside. Okay. Well, as Matt and Andy entered the old property, they were in good spirits and already cracking jokes. I'm still down to buy this place. Just head in. Well, I'm heading into the back of Andy's head at the paint? moment. Paint? Is it moss? That's like something out of Exorcist, isn't it? Yeah. Like proper. Is that spew or moss? I can't tell. Spew on the wall kind of stuff. That's crazy. Or slimer. It's, it's or algae slime. or something. Slimer from slime, you know? Ghostbusters. Now, the place itself, look at the. The wood cladding, beautiful, absolutely how beautiful. How high these ceilings are! It would have been an unbelievably amazing place. So, I'll fix it. I didn't notice those before. I walked past this room a minute what ago. What books do we have here? Tomorrow is too late. Hmm. That's a. Wait, what was that? The Gates of Ivory. That sounds like a death comforting book. The migrants. Let's see what else. Sorry, I got into this. I just wanted to see if they had anything good. The Long Night of White Chickens? That's a bit harsh on these old people. Isn't Interesting it? selection. <laughs> Look at that. That piano. Where well, used they to be a piano. To tune out of that one, <laughs> no, I think not. All the keys have gone. They're not keys, are they? No. Are they? Oh, they are. Yeah. Are they like fused together? Despite their fun joke. Are they? Are it's they? strange because the where the black keys should be are white. Oh, they are. Yeah. Are they like fused together? Does despite their fun joking attitudes, things quickly turn. Look at this right here. It's like a face in the wall. It's dope. Turn when Matt spotted something absolutely terrifying. That's almost like a like a baby skeleton drawn here or something. Right. Just are they about to go in on this? Is this the second or third floor we're going up to? Because we went down to the basement, it's thrown me. It's totally thrown me. That paper's they're thick, aren't they? Yeah, bro, it's wallpaper, wallpaper bro. It's like good quality wallpaper. Yeah, I will say that. Yeah. No, but yeah, you can see it goes up again. Hey, wait up. Hello? So, I feel like I've seen this video at this point, but. I also feel like this video is either the same video that I've seen or it's just reminiscent of another video that happens to go about the same way. Two guys going through an abandoned house, looking up the stairs, and they see legs going by. Hello? So I can't remember if I've seen this or not. But yeah, I don't think they're by themselves. I'm pretty sure there's a squatter in that house. I feel like there's something down there as well. Right, I'm going up. At this point, if you're uh, ex urban exploring, and it's nighttime, you need to just shout out that you're there in peace, honestly, because you don't want anybody sneaking up on you thinking that you're, you know, gonna f walk on to something that they don't want you to find. So you need to make sure that everybody around knows that you're peaceful, which is something that I don't see many of these urban explorers doing. Keep going. Don't stop now. Keep going. Keep going. Wait, didn't it walk that uh, way towards I, the window? I've gone cold. Yeah. Oh, it might have been. I've gone cold because I saw somebody stood there. I saw a leg. Hello? Can you just fart? <laughs> but they went Bro, that way. That's what I'm saying. And there's no way you can go. Alright, well you need to go investigate the rest of the building, right? I mean... There's no other choice. You have no choice. I 
noise? It says fire door keep shut. What? Fire doors need to be open. Or they need to be able to be opened. Hello? Hello? Just exploring. Not here to hurt nobody. That's weird. I'm gonna have to look back at the footage. Like the noise could be from there, but I saw a leg. 100% I saw a leg. Well, they ran out. They ran out. It looked like this. Yeah. That sort of noise. I'm gonna have to watch this back. While filming the top of the staircase, Matt caught what appears to be the legs of a dark shadow. Okay, so. If he goes up the stairs that way, that means that, okay, so go up flat, turn around and look that way again. So the top of the stairs to the right is going to be, yeah, the window. The figure, this terrifying dark figure looked to be standing by the railing, simply watching them, but quickly walked away as soon as Matt directed his flashlight in its direction. Eerily enough, after going upstairs to investigate, Matt found out that there was nowhere for this figure to go, as it walked to the right, exactly where this wall is. And besides this tiny window, there was nowhere for anyone to escape. Also, I want to start a movement. I think every urban explorer should buy an extra GoPro and strap it to your back. No, if you have night vision, great. But if not, like, you should... I want to see more urban explorers and ghost explorers going with a GoPro strapped to their back, like a body cam on your back, because who knows what's going on back there. So whoever or whatever the Stark figure was seemed to vanish into thin air. Yeah, I've seen those Matt before. And Andy still and don't I... know how to explain this, and neither do I. So I'll just leave the explaining. Also, it's super weird because the flashlights is casting light on the object, but the object is still rather black as it fits in the darkness, even when it's got light shining directly on it. So, because you can see the wall in the back here, which is white. And if you can see that, then you should see anything that's in front of the wall even more clear. So either it's just completely clad in black or it's non-reflective of any type of light. Which is very strange. This is a good anomaly. To you. Number seven. A guy named Austin runs the YouTube channel Austin's Corner, like Corner, where he reviews nice. vinyl records. Nice. It's got and Michael Myers mask and everything. I'm about to subscribe to Austin. Scrolling through his channel, you'll only find videos about music, except for one. Austin says that one of his coworkers sent him a creepy video from her home security camera that she can't explain. And according to his co-worker, she believes her house is very haunted. The woman in the video says that late one night, the camera in her bedroom caught something extremely chilling. May have seen this one chilling. also. Maybe not. What is this? Let me play this one, then I'll play the next one. This door one right before it. With the one minute intervals. It's gonna play 30 seconds. And it's gonna stop for a minute. And within a minute. Just Yo, what? A minute. This bitch happens. As the video begins, Austin's co-worker can be seen fast asleep until her tossing and turning triggered the camera's motion detection. Nothing seemed out of the ordinary until a little while later when her camera caught this. What looks like someone's head under the covers can be seen. But as soon as the woman woke up, this figure quickly vanished into thin air. Okay, also, but who's right here? until a little while later when her camera caught this. What looks like someone's head under the covers can be seen. 
But as soon as the woman woke up, this figure quickly vanished into thin air. I feel like this eerie footage has mm. left her absolutely terrified. So was this a ghost or just a very large fart trapped under the blanket? <laughs> I cannot believe you went there with that. That is hilarious. Uh, I do not think that that was a very large fart. I can't say if it was a ghost or not, but it's definitely scary AF. Number eight. Over on TikTok, a woman named Jen Barari up, has been Jen? dealing with a How dark you presence on her property for some time now. Her old home and the surrounding buildings date back to the 1700s, and it looks like there's definitely something dark attached. Jen and her family often feel a menacing presence nearby, which is usually followed by strange, unexplainable occurrences. And with cameras throughout the house, these chilling events are often caught on video. Well, just recently, the camera on her daughter's bedroom caught something terrifying. Saw something on the couch, maybe? Something by the window moving. What is that? By the door up here. Oh. I feel I, I feel like there's so much going on. The small door to the left what? mysteriously opened on its own. Then but there's a later, thing there. A small white figure emerged from the darkness before quickly moving back behind the door. This creepy little figure doesn't appear to be more than just a few feet tall and doesn't exactly look to have a face or even a uh, you can the video quality is so low there's not going to be details on something that far away. A head for that matter. Unfortunately for Jen, this wasn't the only thing caught on camera as she had a front row seat to what happened next. Something happened next. Oh my god. Your daughter's not in there, right? This is definitely a call the police moment. Or get your scrap and... Why are we recording this side right now? What shadow? Is she talking about right here? I need it to move so I can tell if that's where I'm supposed to be looking or not. Holy sh did you see that? No. I need a did you see it moment. Oh, now no, I saw that. What the f is that? It's like white mists running around the room. Yeah, you got some colonial ghosts. While filming the old colonial house on her property, a bone-chilling dark figure can be seen walking past the upstairs window. This shadowy figure swiftly moves from right to left past the window, leaving Jen with an incredibly ominous feeling. Jen then shifted her attention to the downstairs window where a misty light can be seen moving around. 
These terrifying events were more than enough for Jen, as she then decided to get away from that house. I'm also confused because I, there's so many buildings on this property. Is that the same building as we were looking at before? Or is this a different one? But with her home being just down the road, I don't know how she could possibly sleep knowing that this is so close by. This isn't her home. So, I mean, maybe somebody's just walking around in the dark. Hi. Make sure to follow me on Instagram to hear more from your boy. As always, if you enjoy these... You know, follow your boy if you're some top five on Instagram. Subscribe on YouTube and like their video as well as subscribe to me and like my video if you like the video. I believe that's it. To follow me on Instagram Let's see. to hear more from your boy. As always, if you enjoy these creepy videos, then make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to see more videos like this. All right, that pretty much does it. So aside from, let me see, the last video, video with the two guys exploring the house, the sheet video, um, yeah, I think that was it. I think that the last three videos were definitely the most legitimate. Uh, the first five videos were kind of lame. Uh, I'm pretty sure we were able to theoretically debunk all of them at least without being there in person. So, you know, that's one thing. Obviously, you can't debunk a place without doing an in-person investigation. But the man with the EMF and the cat and the girlfriend, uh, nah, I don't, I don't buy it. Um... The cloud thing, once again, don't buy it. The lights, weird light stuff happens in the sky all the time. Definitely not ghosts. Might be paranormal, might be aliens, but it's not ghosts. I don't know why it would find its way into eight scary ghost videos. Maybe you fear someone was just looking to get the video past that 20 minute mark. I don't know, who knows, but anyway. I feel like this still was a decently entertaining video especially for the first one i watched in a few weeks so anyway hopefully you guys enjoyed it once again like subscribe me fearsome top five and i'll see you in the next one peace out